Hey everyone, this is the Erroneous One with a brand new Kingdom Hearts Unchained X video. Today is Monday, August 22nd, and along with new events set up, we also got uh, two brand new Adamantai Ore uh, challenges. So I'm going to be showing you guys those today. Uh, this first video is going to showcase the new Lady Luck one, so it's going to be part 5. Uh, level 160, it's going to look like it's going to be the Possessor Clouds again, so there's that. Uh, defeat all enemies within one turn for two of the objectives, and then equip the Lady Luck Keyblade. Um, I'm not going to be using the Lady Luck Keyblade, so I won't be getting the Avatar coins for this one. Uh, I don't feel that my speed setup is going to be strong enough to take it out, based off what it was like last time when we did these with this earlier, and what part, yeah, part three had it last time. So there's that. Um... Mainly also, too, because there are no SP chests um, in these levels uh, so far. And I'm assuming it's going to be the same way since the last one didn't have any SP chest. So, I mean, not that it really matters, I think. If it's, this is the same as the last one, it should have only that single target. But, you know, better to assume that it's going to be more than one thing be on the safe side here. So I'm going to be walking in there with my Olympia Keyblade. Right here, um, my setup is going to be the new Piglet Metal, which ups my strength by two tiers for one turn. It is guilted, so that's pretty decent. I'm going to have my Illustrated Sora in there, um, not for attack, but just for the attack prize plus um, ability on him. Get back some gauge if I need it. My Rax Metal will be going off here uh, just to increase my strength, and it's a zero cost AoE. My main damage dealer, uh, Black Coat King Mickey, with attack boost 2 max on him, fully guilted and fully chip and sitted out. And bringing up the rear as my anchor will be the Kingdom Hearts 2 Riku, also fully chip and dailed and at max guilt. So there is my setup. Um, I will borrow my teammate DX Bailey's Black Coat Mickey as well. It's a deal that last hit. Um, hopefully I won't have to use it because you know it is a 3 gauge cost um, metal. So. Hopefully I won't need that, but we'll find out. So here we go. So target's over here. Yeah, there he is. Okay, so we're going to walk around here and make sure there aren't any more. Oh, what? There we go. So that's already a difference. Um, there are two groups of enemies in this one, um, unlike the other one when it was just the target. Uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah, and again, there are no SP chests in here, so gauge management is going to be really important going through this one. So, okay, that's just a single enemy, um, level 160 possessor, so... Oh, a piglet go off. Tap. Did not proc, unfortunately, with the attack prize plus. Have Rax go off. Alright, Mickey. Always a guaranteed... Proc, 61%, that's not too bad. That wasn't too bad at all. All right, so I have 12 gauge left. Um, I really don't want to waste the gauge here. Uh, I guess we can see what that happens here. Tap, he goes off. All right, so I'll tap one more time. Should I take him out? And I do, okay, great. Um, normally I wouldn't have done that, like if Riku hadn't procced on that single tap, I probably actually would have had uh, Mickey go off for this gauge, but this time I'll be walking into this guy here who is level 160, and there's two enemies here, so that's a group of them, so I guess it's a good thing I saved that gauge as best as possible then. Okay, yeah, two, okay, two Possessor Clouds, and that second cloud is a level 175. So it's going to have increased attack and defense, mainly the defense I'm worried about. And then we're going to have two more health gauges on the target, um, level 160 Possessor Cloud. So I think I'm going to have to use everything in my arsenal to take these guys out. So you got 12 gauge left. 2, 5, 8, 11. Okay, so I have enough gauge to have everybody go off, so no reason not to. At this point in time, all the damage um, possible dealt with these guys, I'll be taken. Okay, come on, Mickey. My boy. You know, about 60k and then 57k on the other one. Alright, my concern right now is that there's still two bars left on the target and about a bar left on the other possessor. And that King Mickey down there is not going to 
I think it'd be enough to take out at least the target level 175, but we'll find out. I thought we could go off here. He did not proc, unfortunately. And hope I get lucky on this one. Oh, and I did it. All right. Sweet. Okay, I, honestly, I was not expecting that Mickey to finish off the uh, opponents there. Um, I thought it would be just under because the other one had um, still a full bar. But, you know, I guess that uh, plus three strength increase there did it for me, which is awesome. And I think he procced as well, too. So, <laughs> there it is. That's the mission, guys. Um, if all else fails, honestly, um, if I hadn't beaten it right there, I actually would have switched out my Riku um, with a Sephiroth. And popped him there more than likely. Um, he would have had a little less um, gauge increase on there uh, because it was a um, upside or a, a upright metal um, damage increaser for the two percent or the two point um, But I still, I think the AOE damage would have been better off. But that's a non-factor now. I did manage to beat him, which is awesome. Let's see what we get here. Throw some Moogles, a Louis, and. All right, so we're getting four adamantite ores now, um, which is awesome. New title there, some jewels for completing the mission. So there's that one. There's a title, uh, big. <laughs> big and some mountains in the background, not too bad. So there it is, guys. Uh, that's going to be my setup. That's how I beat it out right now. Uh, if you guys have any questions or uh, anything else, let me know. Any uh, comments you guys think I could have done differently, or if you guys managed to beat it and use a different setup. I'm always curious to see what other people are using to uh, take these missions down. But uh, yeah, thanks for guys, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, leave a comment.